But yeah, let's just jump into the last and final stage here. Yeah, the most epic one of them of them all, basically. This stage, yeah, is very tricky. Like, it's not very long, but like it has a lot of, how should we say... Yeah, it has a lot of ominous paths without, you know, enemies. So you'll spend a lot of time, like, just going from left to right or taking a lift high up into the sky or whatever. So basically, if you die in this stage, like, there isn't too many checkpoints either. So, like, here in the beginning, like, we will have a long-ass path, like, that takes an hour and a half... <laughs> an hour and a half? A minute and a half or something or other like that. And, like, if you die... <laughs> against one of the bosses up ahead, you won't have a checkpoint, you know. <laughs> so you'll go all the way back here and you have to take the elevator right back. So dying out here in space, it's very punishing. And yeah, I will not be doing the final boss, you know, buster only. I, I can't do that. Um, however, this first main boss in here, you're actually forced. I have actually gone into the editor and looked and I believe that they, yeah, Heavy Elite did not put a weakness on the first boss here. You actually have to beat in Buster only, and it's two bosses at the same time, actually, so, yeah. As you can see, it's very slow paced, and it's a very cool, it sets a very cool mood. Honestly, I would have liked to have a checkpoint before the boss door, but at the same time, I can understand Heavy Elite, you know, why he would not want to have one. He wants it to be like a long epic, you know... He wants to. It, 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 he basically wants it to be a one long, epic hallway. And if you die, it's supposed to be punishing. But yeah. So yeah, I'll try and do this without using E tanks. I actually did it on my first playthrough. Um, and if I die, I'll just cut back. Honestly, it's not so bad because if you kill one of these, like you get a yeah, you get a full health refill. So it's not so hard actually. But yeah, I probably won't get it here. Yeah, you get a dodge a little bit better than that. But yeah, as you can see, we're all the way back here, so I gotta go back again. So yeah, I'll just spare you guys of it and go back there myself. So yeah, see you in a sec. Nice, okay, finally. Ooh, like honestly, if you're skilled enough, you could definitely take both these guys on with only like a big health pickup there, but yeah, that would be rather cruel at the same time. Like, I had a pretty good run here. I, I still would have been able to beat this even with no health pickup, assuming I don't take more damage here. Yeah, I could have actually beat it without the one upstairs, uh, so it's definitely possible, just very hard. Okay, I believe we get a checkpoint here, yeah. So, this is the only checkpoint we get in this stage, like, now we will basically ha now we will basically have a long hallway here. And the music fits very cool. It fits very cool, it fits very well, it's cool and all. Um, yeah, but if you die at the final boss, you have to do this whole hallway over again as well. So yeah, it's definitely a very hard final stage here. Yeah, those X-Men behave very weirdly in here. <laughs> they must not be accustomed to space, I guess. <laughs> Something or other. Oh my god, that was a lame joke. Whatever. Just shut up, Nick. You know? <clears throat> and I would have liked to have that health, but it's fine, I think. Even though the final boss is very hard, and even though it has more than one face... <laughs> Uh, you do get health refills, so yeah. But yeah, just the final stage here is like the music and the 
backgrounds and the tiling, it all fits together so well. Like, it definitely is the highlight of the entire series. Like, I don't know. I just feel like... Despite, like, some of the stages have some wonky features and wonky enemy placements and, you know, especially the mini-bosses, like... I still think it has some very great visual scenery and, you know, theming, like, in the stages are, yeah, you know, as it has been very well done, like, especially here towards the end. So, you know, there is definitely good and bad to this. And I definitely think that the good heavily outweighs the bad things, so, yeah. Yeah, and look at this. <laughs> If we die, we need to do all of this over again, and we need also had we also had to kill those enemies at the beginning. So yeah, yeah, you see what I mean? Actually, I might go ahead and try and do the final boss buster only, like since I have so many E tanks and M tanks now that I did not have on my first playthrough at this point in the game. So I might actually try and do it buster only, but I'll just you, know, you know, <laughs> I'll spam E tanks basically. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. But look at this! How epic is this? This is so epic! This is really epic, the entrance here. And yeah, then we have this guy down here too. Um, my st strategy for this guy revolves around... It. Basically, try and get some leeway. Uh, with pump and gear so that he can't really hurt you. Unless you're standing in a bad spot, like... Windman is going to try and blow and, oh, you know, suck you into pump man, but yeah, if you just keep sliding away, you should be fine. I took damage there. And yeah, look, here is another neat thing. If you don't know to use the ring weapon, you won't be getting any health refills in here. So, you know, it definitely rewards, you know, player knowledge of the game here. Now we just gotta get up here so you can fight these two. And Windman is actually weak against uh, Time Stopper there, or Flash Stopper, so... Uh, yeah, if you really want to put the hurting in, you can just kill him very quickly like that. Whoa. <laughs> and yeah, I believe this guy is actually weak to this weapon here, but yeah, I'll, I'll just do it Master only here. This first phase is not, you know, very hard at all. Uh, It takes a little bit of time, but yeah, nothing too bad. There we go, we got him. Whoops. Wow. There we go. Soon finished. Now, you just gotta be careful here, like, <clears throat> don't jump down, yeah. <laughs> Grab all the health while you can. And once you get out of this teleporter, you'll be on the other side of the to tower. And there will be another set of uh, bosses there. And there are three in total. Um, I believe it's Top Man down at the bottom, Woodman on the top, and I can't recall the guy in the middle. Oh yeah, 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 no, Hard Man, it's Hard Man. It's hard, man. Okay. So yeah, let's just <laughs> go in uh, like this and do our best here. Actually, getting hit by Hardman isn't so bad here because it deals the least damage. Okay, you know what? I think we can do this buster only. Buster only and a shit ton of E-Tanks. <laughs> oh no, I almost got knocked down into the pit. Holy cow. Actually, I don't know who I want to deal with first here. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> oh. And look where we are. Back here. We gotta walk back. <laughs> yeah, very, very old school NES era style punishing. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so this time I will just be using the weaknesses on these guys here. Um, let's see here. I know he's partially weak to to this. He takes two damage, so maybe I'll just use this. All right. Damn it. Okay, here we are again. Like, let's just look here at the planet. Like, you come down here. Yeah, stars, like, space just overlapping the Earth there in the background. Like, it's just, yeah. So effing cool. Oh my god. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Eat tank time. Let's try and not botch it this time by falling into space. <laughs> that would be nice if you could do that. And yeah, I really would like to get Woodman out of here. Okay, another one. Like, it's so hard to dodge all of this. Oh my god, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. There we go, at least dodged that. And like, it's probably, like, you the viewer sitting and watch can probably see some pattern in all of this, but like, when all of this is going on, like, it's very hectic to keep everything in mind. You, yeah, you can probably go down the side here and jump past that somehow. Yeah, like that. Okay. Yeah, you, you can definitely dodge that. Uh, you just need to be calm about it and know what you're doing. But yeah, I think I have this. And yeah, I'm not going to risk it. I could be a, try to be a boss here and, you know, just... Uh, you know, sit here and dodge all the rest, but yeah. Ah, uh, I don't wanna die again. <laughs> and yeah, as I said earlier, um, all three of these guys are weak to the ring weapon, which is why I uh, recommended earlier on that you <clears throat> may want to save your M tank so that you know for a fact that you can take him out quickly or easily. But yeah, that's that. Like, yeah, very cool game or, or built-in game into Mega Man Maker. Even though I, you know, gave it some harsh critique, you know, in, you know. In respect of how you used your enemies at times there um, like overall I think that you made a pretty good you know series of stages here heavy elite mainly I did not really like some of the mini bosses enemies you know how you place them down and you know some enemies were a little bit close to doors and you know stuff like that but like at the same time <clears throat> your stages have their you know many shining moments where you use gimmicks and rather interesting ways and you know you keep up uh, interesting visuals going especially here in the last stage like yeah that's one of the coolest scenes like that i have seen in all of Mega Man maker <laughs> to be quite honest with you um <clears throat> and yeah i'm getting a little bit hoarse here um i have recorded all all these videos in a row here so yeah my uh, my voice is starting to give out a little bit now i noticed <laughs> but yeah very cool very cool game overall like especially the last stage like seriously uh, very ominous uh, looking very, it has a very nice feeling to it, you know, each time you die, sure you go back a long way and you know, it's a little bit frustrating, but at the same time, if we didn't have all that backtracking, it would not be as epic, I feel like, at the same time, like, some will probably agree with me, some will probably not agree with me, but that's fine, you know, <laughs> oh well, either way, it has been a very fun playthrough and I'll now go and have something to eat, have something to drink chill out for a bit but yeah i'll be posting these videos like one at a time i guess <laughs> so yeah uh, thank you guys for watching and have a nice day <laughs>